Hello, welcome, welcome gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmara coming to you with miracle number 98. <sighs> Just three more to go. I'm a bit late today because I really, really wanted to make these last three miracles count. I have also been in two minds about sharing this miracle with you. One, because I'll have to share with you like one of the cornerstones of my work and it is my abundance chant and I'm going to share a couple of wonderful things that will happen. My reason for being a little bit, you know, um, I can't think of the word, but just held, holding back a little in sharing it is because um, I've, I've shared so much and when I share what it is that I do, I just trust people, especially people who call themselves spiritual, to do the right thing. And yet that woman who stole all my la work last year is still, she's modified it in one or two steps. So she's basically still telling everyone she created my fifth dimension meditation and she's a big guru. Now, I know that Source does not support that kind of behaviour. Um, she wrote this big bullshit bloody post saying that, um, blog post saying that it was a red road and she wasn't on a red road and, and you know, that she couldn't get her courses to work. It had nothing to do with her not being on the red road. It had to do with her, you know, outright dishonesty, claiming that she had... Um, invented all of the work that I had given her. Supposedly, she was supposed to have done so much for me and she did nothing. And I have to tell you that God does not support lack of integrity. It just doesn't work that way. So I also have come to the conclusion after a day of contemplating about this that I'm going to put this chant, I'm going to give you this chant, and trust that you do the right thing, that if you're going to share it with someone, that you tell people that it's mine, that it was what was given to me by source, and I'm happy to share it with you. Uh, but I guess really today's miracle is really just, it's a, it's a brilliant miracle, it'll change your life if you do it. But if you're going to share it with people, then just have the common decency, courtesy, respect, to tell people that you got it from me and don't claim that you invented it yourself and if you're going to do that then you'll probably still be paying like this woman is um, and I hope she's listening to these recordings she probably is and if she's listening to them I hope she realizes that's the reason nobody is buying anything that she's selling because of her lack of integrity and she's not once apologized to me even in this big blog post she still claims that she didn't really do anything wrong, <laughs> which just makes me laugh my head off at some people and their lack of integrity. And then goes, I'm the most powerful spiritual person on earth. What a load of rubbish. Just know that you can kid yourself, but you can't kid Source. Source knows what's really going on. So I guess that's the end of my little rant for today. And that said, I really want to share this spectacular miracle with you. But before we do that, I'm just going to get you, give you the first step of my fifth dimension activation so that you can really receive the energy that this miracle is given to you in. It's a powerful chant that was given to me a long, long time ago. Um, it has even brought beings back from death. So that's how powerful it is. And I'm going to share it open heartedly with you because I want these last three miracles to be really powerful. And also for those people who have listened for all, to all 97 of them so far, I want you to be able, you know, to receive something wonderful that you can use in your life if you so choose to. So let's begin by just taking a long, slow, deep breath in, filling your belly up with air and then letting it out with a sigh. And breathing in again. And letting it out with a sigh, in through the nose 
and out through the mouth. And I'm, something's telling me I said this is Miracle 97, and if I did, I'm wrong. It's Miracle number 98. We've got three more to go, 98, 99, and 100. This is number 98. Just bring your awareness into your hands. And then breathe in. Raise your hands up to the sun. Breathe out and tie the energy around the sun. Breathe in and bring a scoop of that gorgeous energy from the sun straight down. Let it fill every one of your 100 trillion cells, 100 trillion telomeres, and take the last 5% of that energy down and connect into the core of Mother Earth. Big golden sun in the center of Mother Earth. And breathe in and bring all that beautiful earth energy back up with all the minerals and nutrients, everything you need to sustain your physical life here on earth. Breathe it out into your body and take the last 5% of that energy up to the sun. Breathe in, bring all of that earth energy down, let it flood every cell, every atom, every molecule of your being. As you breathe it all out into your body and take the last 5% down into earth, breathe in and bring that energy from earth back up Breathe out into your body. Take the last 5% up to the sun. Breathe in, draw the energy from the sun. I use my hands to draw it down. Breathe it out into your body. Take your hands down the front of your chakras. Take the last 5% into earth, pointing your fingers to the core of Mother Earth and tying that energy around earth. Breathe in and bring all that energy from earth back up. Breathe it out into your body. Take the last 5% up to the sun. Now, Continue to do that up-down breath while I share this fantastic miracle with you. It's best to do this first thing in the morning, standing in the soft sun, shining sun, morning sun. But if you can't go outside because it's raining or snowing, you can imagine you're standing outside at dawn. You can do it sitting inside, sitting up. That's fine so long as your back is off the back of the chair. And you can do it laying down so long as you're laying down on your side and the energy can go up and down your spine. So just breathe for me, please. So there's so many miracles I could tell you about this one particular chant. One of them I remember was one of my clients who had some resistance to it, um, mostly because of the word God. Um, but once she got the hang of it and she began to chant it while she was driving to her work, and within less than a week of her chanting it, just like for the half hour, hour to work and half hour, hour home, over and over again, she had a client that rang up and wanted her to come and they had a wedding centre, which was a beautiful old home, but he could tell there were spooks in it. So they got this client of mine to drive. It was in like about an hour and a half from the, the city. And he ended up paying her, I think it was either $1,500 or $1,800 to do that clearing of her wedding centre. She did spend probably a good four or five hours there cleaning it out, talking to the spirits, moving them on. And they then started getting all the bookings for their weddings again after the spooks were moved on. So, um, you know, it was worth them every cent that they paid her for it. But that's just one example of doing it and, and you, when I tell you the chat you're going to understand why she had some resistance to it. I had another client who was doing my, well I think she actually had done my 10 day live-in retreat. Oh yeah and she also did my one year, she did my one year fifth dimension um, spiritual healer and teacher training program that went for a whole year, that's right she did that first. I think they went for 44 weeks, which is still close to a year. And um, and then she came along and did the 10-day live-in pro program with me as well the next year. But she had gone to her parents, had a farm, you know, about an hour. It was in, in Gippslands. And they didn't know why, but all the lambs were just dying. Her dad... Um, was just dis so distressed because these lambs were being born and dying almost immediately. And they'd lost about five lambs before, or six lambs or something, before she even arrived at her dad's farm. She then asked her dad's permission if she could work with them spiritually. Her dad said, oh, God, do anything you can. If you think you can help them, please do. 
So she began to chant this non-stop, like while she was helping with other babies get birthed and all of that, um, there was about another, I don't know, we were there with five or eight lambs that just weren't even standing up to feed and these were the ones that had already, the same sort of thing was happening and they were already die, had already died. She began to chant this chant and she did chant it for quite a number of hours, like three or four hours while she was helping with the lambing process and whatever and the lambs that couldn't get up and that were weak or whatever, she began to chant this. Within a couple of hours, two of them had got up. Within another hour, a third and a fourth one had got up and then within another hour of her chanting this, uh, over and over and over, it's the only thing she had going on in her head, um, and it was like she was speaking to the lambs. Um, she, this little runt of a lamb that was the worst of all of them, got up and began feeding on its mother. And all of those lambs that she worked with didn't die. And um, and speaking of that, I'm reminded now when I was on the farm in Tilbert Tilbert, there was a little runt of a lamb born. It was so tiny and weak, it couldn't stand up and it hadn't fed for two days and they were talking about putting the lamb down and I just said, can I have a crack at it? <laughs> so I was actually opposite this lamb chanting it, but then I just went home and continued to chant while I washed dishes and cleaned my floor and whatever it was I was doing, doing my daily chores or whatever. Came back and checked on the lamb and it was still laying down and then I chanted it at night time as well while I was just whatever sitting on the veranda watching the stars or whatever. And in the morning I got up really early about 5 a.m. and went and the lamb was still in there with its mother. And while I stood there chanting to it, this little lamb got up and began to feed. It was a tiny, tiny little lamb. It could just barely reach its mum's teeth. So this is the power of this chant that exists within you. I've also chanted it when people are unwell. I have chanted it when... Um, I've chanted it when I need money desperately. Um, and so the chant is a simple one, but it might blow your mind a little bit because of the words in it. Um, it was how it was given to me and I balked at first, <laughs> but I got over it. And the chant is, it's so simple. I am God, I am love, I am one. You are God. You are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. The reason that it's so effective is because all of our problems are caused because we're separate from source. I'm sure you've been told that a thousand times before. This chant helps you re-bring that back to the powerful God source being of light you truly are. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. You don't have to say it out aloud. You can say it to yourself. But if you're around any religious people, I strongly recommend that you chat it to yourself. Otherwise, I might ring the mental home and get you put away because we're all still being so trained that God is some male being outside of us in the sky. Um, you can also, after you've chanted, I'm God, I'm love, I'm one, you are God, you're love, you're one, we are God, we are love, we're one. You can just chant God, love, one. If you want to, like if you wanted to kind of turn that into like a God, love, one. You can do it that way. And you can just chant glow, G-L-O, God, love, one. Glow. But I prefer God love to chant either God love one or the whole thing. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You're God, you love, you're one. We are God, we are love, we're one. If you've got someone in the family who's being a rat or whatever, who's having a bad day, who's just being argumentative, just start chanting that to yourself as if you're speaking to them about it. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you love, you're one. We are God, we are love, we're one. And you'll see them move out of whatever it is up into the light. 
if you have loved ones that you don't get along with and you have to go visit them because it's Mother's Day coming up or whatever it is, you can do that. You can do that kind of chanting. And you can just do it for yourself. You can just do it to raise your own frequency. So rather than sending your fifth dimension activation, I'm going to chant this now for, I don't know, a few minutes just to see. And I just want you, you can either join in with me and just say it, say it to yourself or say it out aloud, doesn't really matter. Or you can just sit and breathe this in through your nose and out through your mouth and just integrate it into your being and just see. And like just doing it for a couple of minutes is not going to make a difference. But if you get this as a chant that you run in the back of your mind instead of the needless thoughts that go on about, especially, it is especially good if you do have some stressful stuff going on. Like your boss has called you into the office and you have to go see him the next day and you're worried that he's going to fire you or whatever that is. Start chanting it like the, you know, on your bus trip in. If you need to pay some bills and you don't have the money for that, you can start chanting it as well. So I'm going to just chant this for you now. As I've stated before, this is a cornerstone of some of my work, teaching people that we are a pure God source being of light. In, and everyone is a pure God source being of light. So if you're going to share this, I would appreciate it that you tell people that you got it from me. And if you don't, I can almost assure you that you're going to have the same shit show going on as this person who stole all my information last year and keeps telling everybody it's hers, you know, so and that she's the most powerful healer of this century. Just, some people's ego just blows my bloody mind. But anyway, here we go. Just take a big breath in for me, please. I sometimes wonder why I bother in this industry. But I do because there's lots of good people out there as well. So here we go. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I forgot to mention that sometimes it's really good to be chanting it to yourself because then you can breathe it in as well. I'm not going to do that because I'm doing it for you, but if you're doing it yourself, to be able to chant it to yourself and breathe helps it breathe it into the cells of your being. Sometimes when I'm doing it myself, I just do it silently. The problem with doing it to yourself is that your ego can easily, or your mind can easily go off and go, oh, I wonder what we're going to have for dinner, which is why sometimes chanting it out aloud while you're driving in your car, excuse me, sorry, um, or while you're washing the dishes, is a really good thing to do because you're kind of there and you can't do anything else but that. So anyway, I'm just going to keep doing it out aloud so you can learn it. It's a really simple one to learn. It doesn't take long to learn. And I can already feel powerful energy pumping through my hands, but it is something I've chanted for maybe over two decades now. So I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. If you've got lots of energy pumping out of your hands, you can place those hands on your heart. Or if there's something like on your knees, if you've got sore knees, and just 
if you feel that energy starting to pump out of your hands then you might as well put it back into your beautiful body and let it have a dose of this lovely energy as well i'm god i'm love i'm one you are god you are love you are one we are god we are love we are one i'm god i'm love i'm one you are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. I'm God, I'm love, I'm one. You are God, you are love, you are one. We are God, we are love, we are one. Big breath in and just continue you can remember if you need some help with finances you can just say hey god can you help me with my finances and then start chanting them okay alrighty love 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 my deepest love and richest blessings to you all have a truly blessed day please do the right thing if you're going to share it with anyone and i look forward to speaking with you again soon